TGR. Hey everybody, it's your boy Onyx. Um, as you all know, I was, emphasis on was, kind of hyped for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, when I first saw the reveal, I kind of freaked out a little bit. What the f yo, what the hell is this? Breath of the Wild Pokemon actually? I was surprised because for a while we haven't seen a good Pokemon game, or let me not say a good Pokemon game, we haven't seen change in Pokemon. So this presented an opportunity for change. Now it's Game Freak, it's the Pokemon company. I get it, right? But I'm still somewhat hopeful. Uh, today on January 13th, they released a 13 minute video. It's kind of an overview. Nintendo likes to do this before their big releases. They kind of have a very long uh, informational video that shows you just a lot of the game. So I wanted to react to it. I wanted to see uh, if they show as much as possible to have a really good idea of what to expect. I mean, they've shown a lot of trailers already and I've kind of not watched those. So this is going to be like the last one that I watch. Uh, I'm still on the fence. I want this game to succeed solely in, in, in its development, right? In its designs. I want the game to be and feel different. Will it? Probably not. But hey, whatever. I guess we'll, only time will tell. Uh, but before I get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, ourselves. The Gaming Resume is a channel that is known for reactions, but we do a lot more. And for 2022, we are aiming to do things very differently. Every Friday, expect an upload by either myself or Rudy, and we also are going to be streaming on Twitch exclusively, unless it's a live reaction. So with that said, please check out our Patreon, our YouTube membership, and of course, if you want to support us on Twitch, you can also use your Amazon Prime membership. Um, we want to grow this year to provide more entertainment and more valuable content. So any help will do, and we really do appreciate it. Now, with that out of the way, it's time to see this thing and see what's up with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Welcome, trainers. Thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. So, so it, it's so funny how today, Breath of the Wild this a footage first is. Look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony, in time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Each area is rich in natural features and plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover, and you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These materials can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey, including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a <laughs> mysterious Before, invention. I like that. Pokemon team can help you collect these. I'm gonna make my too. face a little bit bigger here. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. Interesting. All kinds of Pokemon will appear Crafting. depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. <laughs> Some Bidoof. Species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approaching. There are even you would think they Pokemon would fly. They attack you should they spot you in the wild. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. I like how there's an action you order in the top right. We're answering a Final Fantasy X. one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon.
You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. Hmm. And just, just like that, you're caught. Okay. When encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you are carrying when you faint it. Oh, okay. Little, little souls like, right? Drop your stuff. Probably not that punishing. As part of the Survey Corps, you are oh shit, Survey Corps! Sasa, get yo. I'm so sorry. That live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. Hmm. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. I do like that there are some our mounts, Weirder you know. helps you navigate on land faster. Isui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you oh, to you can just switch the sky. Like, oh, interesting. Ah, oh, the game does look rough, though. Basque Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. Can you show us Jubilife, Jubilife, Jubilife Village? I just want to see what's Jubilife out there in the world. The I, I hope it's not just for the galaxy open world with team. nothing in it. A group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various cores. Galaxy the Team, core obviously a team, pre-Team well Galactic, yeah. Core, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request and preparing for your next excursion, you'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. Mm. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisui. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui while missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your ARC phone. The ARC phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movement. <laughs> I like how, how the devices are all mysterious. And track your current missions and requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. <laughs> He's driving me up the wall. Sounds like a fetch quest if you ask me, literally. I will say, I do like that catching Pokemon is more involved now, right? Especially out here in the wild like this. Um, it seems to be simple, but I'm sure that would change with a different type of Pokemon as you go on. I mean, assuming here, right? Let's have a peek at these round ears. That's it. It's ears have that yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching, and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is strategy involved by catching them unaware. That's kind of neat. Nothing crazy deep, right? But it's kind of like other RPGs. <laughs> and you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Strong style. or Agile style. Using a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, Prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Oh, Using multiple agile times. style moves and strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. Very interesting. Good strategy is the key to victory. It's almost like uh, the, wild, the default system in Bravely a Default. Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Let's go right you. Approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Here, the player uses agile style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch. And now do a strong while style. Also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating alpha Pokémon. Catching an That's alpha a lot of damage. A it doesn't seem that hard. If you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. Let's see how much damage it does to Raichu. Oh, okay. Well, it does one shot. Oh, it was a critical hit too. Interesting. By visiting the Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress to be expected. the game, you can unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style. I do like that the style is definitely, you know. Quick look at some of the early customizations. Oh, what is this? Edo? Edo period? Somewhere. Japan, perhaps? I'm not too familiar with the periods, but samurai, right? The samurai era. You can also of, customize the trainer's hairstyle, I like hair it. color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. The Hisui region can be dangerous. That doesn't mean you can't look your best. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Noble Pokemon. I guess these are like legendaries, right? During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. <laughs> Somebody played Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Cleaver. Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. Interesting. The moment you see an opportunity, so this is not a Pokemon battle, as, as we can. know them. Just like throwing a Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. Noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the noble Pokemon. It's like it's involving the, the trainer a lot, which I like. Fight, it's the different. The noble Pokemon may let down its guard. Oh, and that's this when you fight it. Time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. Oh, that's, see, that's kind of neat. These it's battles like... are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. Kick his ass, sea bass! Oh man, yeah, that almost knocked it out. Oh, you got it. Oh, but right, it's strong style, so will he be able to? Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, not that bad. It, it see, it, this Hope doesn't seem too peak, rough, but Pokemon that's Lens. cool. I, I kind of dig that. That's unique. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game. 
after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye! Really good art, by the way. Like, I love the art design of this game. Okay. A few thoughts. That was a good showing. I think the game, in terms of gameplay concepts and design, looks interesting. Um, I especially liked how you deal with the Nobo Pokemon. It seems like you have to kind of like, like, uh, what's the word? Whittle them down a bit, right? Using those bombs, kind of getting them a little bit weaker as a trainer, and then throw your Pokemon at them. That's a unique concept that I actually didn't even think about. Um, involving the trainer more with the Pokemon process. Um, I really hope those things lend itself to a better experience. One that feels more fresh, because Pokemon needs it. And obviously, they don't really need it. Every single game they've released the last couple of, like, every single title they've released in the last couple of years has outsold the previous one by millions and millions and millions. So they don't need to do anything with their games. They just have to pump them out and they sell. But as someone who genuinely grew up on Pokemon, I literally play Pokemon from Gen 1. Here's a picture of me rocking a Ash Ketchum and Pikachu shirt when I was like 11 or 12. Um, I really want to feel the magic again. That's really all I want. So here's hoping that they can get the magic again and uh, it's it's it leads them to make more change because I know Nintendo doesn't have a lot of say, perhaps, on Pokemon since the Pokemon company kind of runs shit on their own. But I would like I would like something fresh. Uh, look at what Kirby's doing. I look at the Kirby trailer, and it's like, damn, Nintendo is really trying to do something different. And here's Pokemon, kind of doing like almost a bare minimum. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks you guys. Thank you guys for checking out this this reaction. I do appreciate it. Again, we are the Gaming Resume. If you're new here, we are not only a reaction channel. We do tons of other content, and we're gonna do a lot more of it this year. So keep in touch. Subscribe. Check out our Discord. Link is in the description. And please, if you want to support us, check out our Patreon, YouTube membership, and Twitch subscribers. Anyway, thanks for uh, hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe hit the little bell, and join our Discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.